Welcome brothers and sisters. Why do I say such things? You know, but um you know you black women, y'all really coming to my channel with all of your rhetoric. <laughs> um y'all gotta understand that unlike most black men, I know the difference between a sister not a sister. Phone disconnected. Oh. You know, I know the difference between a sister and a sister. You know? And you women, y'all are sisters. <laughs> y'all are sisters. Y'all are. You know, y'all need to understand that um, I know the difference between a sister, a real sister, a true sister, and you. And I provided a caveat. Well, I provided a um, a lane for the sisters. Because unlike you black women who have stated that niggas ain't shit, you know, I am allowing for the sisters to, uh, you know, to give respect to the few uh, true sisters that are out there and for the younger black women who are coming up in the world, you know, because they have a choice in the matter. You know, they can become sisters or they can become sisters. And you know how you sisters do. <laughs> you sisters are uncooperative. You're, you're belligerent. You're out of line. You're manly as hell. I mean, hey, it ain't my fault. I didn't raise you in a single parent home. That's why y'all act so damn manly talking about y'all was forced to be manly yeah you was forced to be manly you forced yourself to be manly because one your mother probably raised you in a single parent home and you had to, to protect and defend yourself and you had to put on this hard uh exterior and you know you know you you know you're soft as cotton balls <laughs> on the inside you're soft <laughs> we understand how I mean, you women are so soft that you can't even take when somebody's critiquing your behavior. So how are you going to be a leader when you think with your emotions? Who are you going to lead? You can't put your emotions to the side and and think logically, rationally about what's being said. Then how the hell are you going to lead anybody anywhere? You can't even lead yourself. You know? You got a child out. You got you you got um multiple children out of wedlock. You know, you're coming to my channel. <laughs> you you know it's gonna take you a while to get over here. Don't come directly over here. You gotta go through certain other brothers first. You know you can't just come directly over here. That's that's bad for business. I've been doing this for years. I will wipe the floor with you. Why are you <laughs> coming to my channel with your sister talking points? As if I'm so dumb that I don't know the difference between you women who have 32 forms of, of birth control and want to still complain about black men. Y'all have 32 forms of birth control and you still want to complain or talk about, oh, niggas lead their kids. No, I mean, all these weak-minded talking points have already been debunked. Like I said, you got to start with some, you, you can't just come directly over here. You know, we got stats for you <laughs> over here. <laughs> Don't make me pull the stats out for you, you know. Black men do take care of their kids. In fact, black men are in their kids' lives more than any other race of men out there. So, 
you women need to go study or something before you come over here with these cheap deflections, the insults, the shaming language, threats. Come on. You could do better than that. You could do better than that. How are you going to lead when you think with your emotions? When you, you know, when that, I mean, a black woman made a video the other day talking about, you know, black women, you know, black, y'all, you black men are always trying to, talking about black men, black women choose thugs and, 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 uh, these kinds of men to deal with. And then she said, well, black, black women don't choose thugs, they choose confidence they choose those men because they're confident confident well guess what you know conf- you you choose men that are confident those men are not very confident when they're when they're behind bars you know when they're locked up got their face buried in the Bible they was gangster on the street, you know, till the police come. They real gangster. They got a lot of confidence till the police come around. They'll shoot you. They'll shoot me, you know. But when the police come, they run like some girls. Cowards. Cowards. But these are confident men. You know, how are you going to lead when you think with your emotions? You cannot put your emotions to the side and make logical, rational decisions. And then you come to my channel and you know that I'm going to mop the floor with you women. But, you know, you have no respect. You do not humble yourself. So this is why I say that you are a sister. You're not a real sister because a real sister... I mean, you think that I'm so dumb that I think that all black women are the same. (laughs) Y'all are so dumb that I cannot compartmentalize that I think in the same way that you do. Y'all really seriously think I I do? I think uh, like y'all do. Your talking points are irrelevant over here. You know, I mean, at least, at least study, at least dig up some statistics. This is what I'm talking about when I say you can't just come directly over here. You got to go. It's, it takes a while to get over here. You got to go through some other brothers. You know, you might have to, you know, you're going to have to be well versed in the argument. Don't come over here with your emotions. If a brother says something, you need to, you know, Go do your research if you don't, um, if, if, if what I'm saying sounds like bull, go do your research and then, you, I mean, if you're willing to accept the facts, you know, it seemed like, it seemed like you women could actually see the facts on paper and actually ignore that for something your mama said. My mama said this, my mama said that. Black women are retarded. I mean, a lot of you women are fucking loony. <laughs> a lot of y'all are looney tunes. You actually, you actually come to my channel telling me about what your mama said? Well, my mama said, if I get one of you women pregnant, I will end up on child support. If I marry one of you women, my mama said that I will end up divorced with the 70% divorce rate in the black community or black women filing for divorce in 70% of the cases you know so why should I marry any of you or have any children with you you know that's going to be a dangerous thing that's a dangerous proposition the numbers are not in my favor how many, I mean, black men go to jail in a, at an alarming rate, and, and a lot of it is based on child support. 
and then you women find no excuse. I mean, you you women you women have no no uh, remorse behind putting some man through the system. You you still walking around with those talking points? Are you serious? Are you insane? Stop putting men on child support. Goofy ass female. If you wasn't, I mean, where's what, when are you women gonna talk about marriage? Oh, marriage don't mean nothing, right? Marriage, marriage don't mean nothing because you could put a man on child support. See, you don't need a man. That's what you're saying to men. I don't need you, but I do need your sperm so I can put you on child support. And I need to find a man that's dumb enough to give it to me. You know, black men ain't marrying us like that like they did back in the 60s. 50s and 60s, ooh we black men were marrying you women at an alarming rate. Alarming. Way more than white men were. <laughs> Go figure. And what you stated at that point in time is that you didn't need a man. So if you need if you don't need a man, then you get no man. There's no man for you. Sorry, black woman, you know, I don't mean to taunt you, but damn, you know, you're just easy pickings. You're easy pickings. Don't make me mad. Don't make me angry because I'll hurt you. Re I'll really hurt your feelings. You know, the reason why I laugh on these videos and I don't really, you know, go in real hard on these videos, because like I said, you think with your emotions. You get all petty and whiny and. You know, the first thing you want to do is go down and, you know, flagging people's channels and start acting like some babies. I mean, you, aren't you women supposed to be leaders? Aren't you the backbone of the black community? I mean, oh my God, look at the black community. The backbone of the black community is weak. But I thought black men were weak. Black men are weak. You supposed to be the backbone. If if you're if black women are the backbone of the black community, then I mean, hey, look at the black community. Look at it. Look at that weird pseudo matriarchal hodgepodge of shit. <laughs> That's all it is. Is a hodgepodge of shit. <laughs> you know. Oh man. You, you know, you women, y'all need help. You know, white Jesus is not going to be able to save you from this one. See, you women, you know, black women don't really give a damn. This is a, this is another video. I'm going to break this down very thoroughly. But, um, you know, black women don't really care about each other. Because they don't take into consideration the fact that their actions have consequences you know anytime they take an action anytime they do something it's like they find a way to blame somebody else for it it's never their responsibility it's never their fault i mean they go to work and they got to be held accountable for their work they you know they um you know they they have to be accountable for how they raise their children you know but Whenever, whenever they're called to be held, you know, whenever they're held accountable for anything, it's like, you know, they can't help but deflect. They can't help but deflect. They can't help but try to shame you men into shutting up, you know. They can't, you know, then they resort to either insults or idle threats. If not, if if the def, if the cheap deflections don't work, they resort to insults, personal attacks, and basically idle threats. You know, this is what you men have to deal with. You know, cause you niggas ain't shit. You know, 
you know, which, you know, at least I don't sit around and say all black women ain't shit. All black women ain't shit, you know. I separate. I separate the sisters from the black woman, you know. The black woman, you know, you sisters, see, you know, a sister would never identify herself as a black woman, you know. Sorry. See, this is how I know that you're not a sister. And then you walking around, see, a sister is going to listen to her man. She's not going to, she's not, she's going to listen to the man, period. If the man is, when a man is talking, a sister listens, period. She is not going to get all up in her feelings because she is not. She knows that she is not part of this group of women that are doing all these negative things. You know? So she's not going to defend this behavior. She's not going to resort to the big four in the black woman's arsenal of bullshit, which is deflections, insults, uh... What else you got, black woman? Y'all know what I, y'all know what it is. Cheap deflections, insults, uh, shaming language. You know, trying to get you to sh- shame. I mean, trying to shame you in to stop talking about the things you talking about. Y'all disgust me. Y'all disgust me. You know, you are the backbone of the black community. You are the backbone of the black community. I mean, what does that say about the backbone of the black community? The black community, I mean, the black community is, I mean, you can basically punch through it like a paper bag. That, I mean, and, and, and you women don't make good leaders. I mean, if, the, if, if your constituents are stating that you... That something's going wrong, something's wrong in the community, and you, as the leader, resort to deflections, shaming tactics, threats, and uh, I forgot I forgot the other one y'all do, <laughs> but I but I'm I'm wise to your games, black woman. You can't pull the wool over my eyes, black woman. See, because uh, for the past 50 years, black men have sat back and allowed you to do whatever you wanted, say whatever you wanted, you know, disrespect them, call them niggas who ain't shit. They've even taken on your fucking mantras, you know, black men have, black men have fucking, I mean, y'all women are insane. Black, you women have the best men in the world. You have the best men in the world. I mean, from a female standpoint, you women got the best men in the world. Why you think all these other races of women want them? You don't want them. You raise these men to be with other women. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you raise the, and then you call them weak when they don't choose you. Who the hell is going to choose some feeble-minded woman who can't uh, take direction? Who's gonna take your? Who's gonna take you? You you seriously, black woman? I gotta go to work, but you know, you know, you're not sisters, man. We know what a sister is. We know how a sister behaves. We know what a sister is gonna say. This is why you you know, you black women. You, you mean you? You expose yourself so easily. That's that's why I say the black woman doesn't have any game. All her shit is out on front street for everyone to see. She call that keeping it real. <laughs> no black woman, you are showing yourselves to be the betrayal betrayers that you 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 are. You know, you betrayed your men, and instead of accepting that fact. In choosing a different direction, you know, black women have chosen to, um, you know, double down on stupidity, deflect. 
you know, um, now these young girls, regardless of how these young girls were raised, they still have a choice. You know, they still have a choice. They could, they could be like, well, I'm going to do the same thing my mama did, or I don't want to be nothing like my damn mother. My mother was insane. I mean, my childhood was, was terrible. And I'm not going to let that happen to my children. That's not happening. I'm going to have me a husband. Guaranteed. I bet you I'm going to have me a husband. <laughs> and I ain't going to do, I'm, I'm not no black man, so I'm not going to try to fit in his shoes. Shoot. I'm going to listen to my, my man. He's going to lead this house and we're going we gonna to do this. We're going to do our thing. He want another woman, so what? Let him get another woman. Let him get five women. I don't care. I'm not. I'm gonna make myself useful. <laughs> you women are useless. That's the problem. <laughs> You're useless. You know, a sister doesn't. A sister doesn't. Um. A sister, a true sister, respects polygyny. You know. She respects the institution of polygyny, not this monogamy bullshit. Y'all destroying, y'all destroying the race. Y'all destroying the race because, you know, the black woman would rather get her hair did. She could, you know, she could have several, she could own several businesses and several homes, but instead she would rather live in poverty and, um, and uh, be strong and independent and get her hair and her nails did. That's what you, you women are already in polygynous relationships. <laughs> you would rather sell your body. That's insane. That is insane. You would rather sell your body. I believe y'all long, because this is, this is just, this is just going to be a, a massacre if I keep going. <laughs> If I really get serious with you, this is why I have to laugh at a lot of the things that I do. Because if I really got serious with you, I'm gonna really hurt your feelings. You can't, you can't bring feelings over here. Okay, there, this is not the place for feelings. Feelings get hurt over here. This is red pill. This is a red pill zone. I told you this is not going to go down easily. There is side effects to the red pill. God, you know, don't listen to this channel if you can't handle the whole weight. Now, I love you. On that note, I want to say, please get on the five steps and out the wrong code. <laughs>